Welcome to this video from revisionmaths.com for Revision World TV, looking at working with matrices. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add, subtract, and multiply matrices. Essentially, a matrix is just a way of organizing information in rows and columns. So when you have two or more matrices, you can sometimes add, subtract, or multiply them. Before we start, it's worth remembering one of the key rules of working with matrices is that you can't add or subtract them if they are not compatible. And what I mean by compatible is they must have the same number of rows and columns, such as the example now on the screen. So let's start by adding matrices. As you can see, both of these matrices on the screen have the same number of rows and columns. They are therefore compatible. In this case, they both have two rows and two columns, making them both two by twos. Every number within the matrix is called an element. So to add these matrices, all we have to do is add each element together, starting with the first row, first column. So in this case, the number two. We add the number two to the seven, which is the first number in the first column on the second matrix. This gives us a nine. We then move down to the second row in the first column, in this case, a five, and add this to number six, which is the second row, first column of the second matrix which gives us the number 11. Then we move on to the second column and add the three to the minus four. This gives us a minus one. To complete this matrix, we add the one to the zero, which gives us a one. This therefore completes the answer. So with the addition complete, let's move on to subtracting matrices. The principle is very similar to adding with one minor change. To start with, we need to change the subtraction into an addition and then change the numbers in the second matrix by adding a minus sign to each number. In this example, with the minus four, this will change to a positive four, as a negative of a negative becomes a positive. As you can see from the screen, we are now essentially just performing addition. So two plus minus seven is minus five. The plus five minus six becomes minus one. The 3 plus 4 is a 7, and the 1 plus 0 is a 1. Now let's move on to multiplying matrices. Now for multiplying matrices, we need to remember this key rule. Not every matrix can be multiplied to another matrix. On the screen, we can see the first matrix has two rows and three columns, making it a 2 by 3. And the second matrix has three rows and three columns, making it a three by three. In order to multiply the matrices together, we need to make sure that the columns in the first match the rows in the second, which they do in this example. The number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix will determine the size of the matrix answer. In this case, the new matrix will be a two by three. So we are essentially going to multiply the rows in the first matrix by the columns in the second matrix. So as you can see, I've color coded the numbers we're going to multiply together to make this easier for you to see. So we start with the three and multiply it by the four, which gives us a 12. We then multiply the two by the two, which gives us a four. We then multiply the five by a one, which gives us the five. And we do exactly the same thing with the first row and the second column. Three times three becomes nine. Two times one becomes two. And five by two becomes 10. We then move on to the first row, which we then times by the third column in the second matrix. Three times by four is 12. Two times by five is 10. And five times by five is 25. Now we have completed the multiplication of row one from the first matrix, we move down to the second row of the first matrix. As before, we start by multiplying it to column one of matrix two. So we multiply the one by four to give us four, minus four by two, which gives us minus eight, seven by one, which gives us seven. We then move on to column two of matrix two. 1 by 3 is 3, minus 4 by 1 is minus 4, 
7 by 2 is 14. And then we move on to column 3. 1 by 4 is 4. Minus 4 by 5 is minus 20. And 7 by 5 is 35. So as you can see, we have now completed multiplying every row in matrix 1 by every column in matrix 2. We now need to simplify the matrix by adding all these numbers together. Starting with the first column, 12 plus 4 plus 5 equals 21. 4 minus 8 plus 7 equals 3. In the second column, 9 plus 2 plus 10 equals 21. 3 minus 4 plus 14 equals 13. We then move on to the third column, 12 plus 10 plus 25 equals 47. 4 minus 20 plus 35 equals 19. If you like what you've seen, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember to check out some of our other videos on Revision World TV.